Hey everyone, uh, I'm too lazy to bring up my tripod, so sorry if you're a little too close here. But I got the sparkly little lights uh, going on here. Eh, see them in my glasses. Anyway, um, so I was in the grocery store, doing grocery shopping, naturally. And uh, I saw this uh, Mountain Dew flavor that I have uh, never seen before. It's a uh, Mountain Dew uh, Arctic Blast. Arctic Blast, Ar Arctic Burst, rather, my apologies. Arctic Burst uh, Game Fuel. Ooh. Ah, very, very, very nice. Okay. So, I, since I've never heard about this, I went on the Mountain Dew Wiki, because Mountain Dew deserves its own Wikipedia, uh, <laughs> and apparently, what I've read from there is that this was originally not a soda, but it was solely a 7-Eleven Slurpee flavor, that's supposed to be blueberry flavored, as opposed to blue raspberry, which most blue sodas are, and Mountain Dew Voltage is, um... So it's supposed to be blueberry flavored, and it came out when Superman Returns came out, and that was, what, 2006? Actually, I think I've got the page behind me. I should actually look. But no, instead I'm reading Vox articles about the CFPB. Um... Yes, 2006. My apologies for, uh... Not knowing that before I started filming. I should really uh, do my research first. Uh, anyway, so, came out Superman Returns, that horrible movie. Of course, if I had known what was going to happen with the DCEU, perhaps I would have been more appreciative of Superman Returns. But at the, at the time, I found that movie very insulting, because it was like, after all this time you make a new Superman movie, you could go anywhere with it, and all you do is make an homage to Richard Donner's original film. It's like, that really? It's sort of like how The Force Awakens, you could have done anything with the Star Wars universe, but instead you just kind of do a soft remake of A New Hope with another fucking Death Star. Not the topic I'm talking about. This is a soda review, isn't it? Anyway, can never not talk about movies, apparently. So, uh, anyway, um, they brought it back in actual soda canned form, and um, it's part of their Game Fuel line. I've had regular Game Fuel in icy form, and it kind of tasted as if orange juice and bubble gum came together. Wasn't really that much of a fan of it. But uh, decided I'd uh, give this one a little bit of a whirl, since uh, blueberry-flavored stuff is um, not all that common. So Let's see uh, how it is. Smell test. Kind of just smells like voltage, actually. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more tartness, kind of like uh, a, if a voltage sweet tart were made, I guess, is the smell I'm smelling. Ooh, that smell. Can you smell that smell? Anyway, let's uh, see how this is. Still deciding. Hmm. All right. So, I actually find the taste um, kind of weak. It's um, it's not as like thick and syrupy as some of the other uh, Mountain Dews. I find Code Red to be very syrupy, for instance. This one is a lot thinner and lighter. Um, don't really taste much in the way of um, like tartness or anything like that. Um, in fact, I think I've drank already most of the can because it goes down a lot easier. Woohoo, phrasing. Uh, than uh, some of the other Mountain Dews, which feel very syrupy when I drink them. Honestly, it just kind of tastes like watered-down voltage. It's not as, um, it doesn't have as much of that, um, sickening berry taste, uh, that I like voltage, but you can't drink it all the time, and it gets a little sickening sweet if you get down to, like, the bottom of a 20-ounce bottle. This just, yeah, it just kind of tastes like watered-down. Also, um, maybe it's my imagination, but it seems a lot less carbonated than, um, than voltage is. Yeah, so it's, eh. I don't know, maybe it tasted better in, in um, icy or slurpy form. But uh, as it is right now, it's just kind of, yeah, it's a watered down, a watered down voltage with that's not very carbonated. Carl's Mio in the background also very upset about this, so 
Eh, I mean, you can give it a try if you find it, but I wouldn't quite recommend it. It was on sale, so I got the 12-can the pack. You take the cans to work. And uh, that's all I really have to say about it.